Working with AWS has empowered the state of Arizona to accelerate our transformation of our goal to enable every service to every Arizona in any time, any place through our digital government program. My name is Aaron Sandy and I'm the CIO for the state of Arizona. Arizona has about 130 plus different federated agencies and we're also a pretty massive service broker offering different services and capabilities to every single one of those agencies. There are over 32,000 employees of the state and there's about 6.6 .6 million citizens of the state. One of the biggest challenges that we have in state government is continuing to support infrastructure and keep infrastructure updated. We've got over 2,600 different servers in the state, 53% of those are over five years old. And it's just hard to get support sometimes and prioritize refreshing infrastructure. And so what we've done is really start to move that infrastructure up to the cloud using AWS. When I started at the state, we had a, a DNS server that, that supported over 300 different zones, over 6,000 different entries in the DNS server. And so that means any application or website is routed through that DNS server as a centralized piece of infrastructure. And about a month after I started, it failed. That's when we really started to look at Route 53 for Amazon. We've moved all of our DNS to the cloud. Now it has continuity across multiple zones. It also provides self-service capabilities to our customers. It used to cost us about $89,000 a year to provision and support the server. Now it costs us $18,000 a year and we don't have to have the headcount to staff it. Because we're a service broker for many different state agencies, there's multiple different funding sources, and each funding source has very specific requirements. Some federal money cannot be used to, for capital expenditures, and so we can't use that to buy new equipment. So if you buy a particular piece of infrastructure to support one program, you can't use it for a different program. But if we can separate that out as a service, if we can start to provide that out that way, that gives us a lot more flexibility. So moving from CapEx to OpEx was a huge thing. We started looking at our legacy platform and all of our different legacy applications. And instead of looking at it from a server by server perspective, we really looked at it from a service perspective. By moving to AWS, being able to have separate instances, be able to tag those and specifically show cost allocation by service, it really helps with a business case for us. At this point, we've moved a total of almost 350 instances to AWS. As a result of moving these instances to AWS, we're saving about 53% uh, a month on one instance. The plethora of, of solutions that AWS has, starting with Route 53, to EC2, to storage, to the databases, to the, the, the virtual connections to make it secure, um, from CDN, from being able to cache our web infrastructure. So it really met our needs in many different ways. There are several states that, that call us about different programs that we have. Digital government is a, is a big transformational opportunity for many states. And when we talk with them, we tell them all the time about how we've gone through this transformation, how we've gone through this journey, how we use AWS as our infrastructure, as a platform, how we continue to build on that, how it gives us so much flexibility to be transformational, to even be disruptive in, in how we're trying to solve those problems. And working with AWS is absolutely critical for our success.